All right, hey, Hades Mega here, and we're here at Metcalf Motorcycle Park, as you can see. And there's the uh, the Suron Light B on my motor rack jack. It made it up here safely, but it, the the rack is kind of like wobbling around now, so I'll have to make sure and uh, be careful on the way back. <laughs> anyway, there it is. Um, so this is my first time taking it out after I overhauled it. All right, and uh, excited to see what it can do. So we've got the. Uh, so this is the configuration that it's in for for dirt biking. I haven't I haven't had a chance to install a front fender yet. I'm still trying to figure that out. But uh, yeah, we've got the uh, we've got the 219 chain kit, brand new. I've got a RockShox Vivid RockShox Vivid R2C rear shock that we're going to be testing, and a Manitou Dorado front fork. All right, so. We'll see how this guy does. Um, I feel like the front is like too soft and the rear is too stiff, right? From riding it on the road, but riding it off road is a totally different animal. So, and then we'll have to. So this is gonna kind of be like a shakedown ride to make sure nothing falls off. You know, all the bolts are tightened, type of thing. I brought a limited amount of tools, so yeah, there's we're kind of limited on what we can repair. So hopefully everything stays on there, right? It's got a, a 16 inch rear tire now. Okay. With the uh, cheat, uh, the 525 cheater, the Shinko 525 cheater, so should be good. I've got it all balanced up in it, and then I've uh, it has a 1.5 inch lifting link in the back, so we'll see. So all, all the um, all the dampening settings are set for uh, for in the middle. All right, so if I need to stiffen it or loosen it, I'm just gonna you know turn the knobs type of thing. All right, so all, all the dampening is in the middle, so we're gonna have to figure out what what the bike feels like you know how i how i want it <laughs> i think i want the front stiffer but we'll see um the important thing is like yeah we want it we want it to be soft but we don't want it to bottom out a whole lot all right i think i think you want it softer for off-road so it soaks everything up but also you don't want it to bottom out all right but the dorado has a few tricks up its sleeve it's got three sets of uh dampening okay so it's got like a high speed dampening a middle middle stroke dampening and a bottom out dampening okay to keep it from uh, anti bottom out dampening so every every part of the stroke has a different kind of dampening so that's why we got to play around with it which is a that's i've never ridden a fork i don't think i've ridden a fork like this before so so it should be interesting hopefully it's better than the rst fork my complaint about the RST fork is that it there's not enough uh, there's not enough shock absorption. Okay, <laughs> so let's say my arms, like pretty the front of the bike follows like everything, and it just it doesn't absorb any of the bumps. You like feel everything, and and you're it's like you're wrestling the bike. All right, hopefully we don't we don't get any of that today. All right, the the name of the game is like to endurance. All right, to how how much you can how much you and the bike can handle. <laughs> Okay, so let's get out there. I'm running 15 pounds of uh, pressure front and rear uh, I'm kind of excited to try this new setup. This setup should have more power than the original setup the 19 rear Because the wheel is smaller. So you got less reciprocating kind of mass on the outside So and the wheel should be stiffer and stronger. So um, I would always feel that that kind of that 19 inch was kind of wobbly, you know Well, are the wheels for the for the Suron are wobbly? <laughs> in general as well I'll say okay so uh, let me get my gear on and I uh, guess we'll get the bike off the the rack and get on out there all right let's bring up all right he's big here I haven't ridden a dirt bike in a minute is I'm not gonna lie okay so probably get to take it easy for most of the day we'll see we'll see I, I call it getting your dirt legs you got to get your dirt legs back you know <laughs> all right so I've got the bike set up at 350 motor amps and uh 25 percent field weakening i don't want it to be too crazy so i'll say all right but it feels good we're gonna go ahead to the practice oval here and burn off a, a couple electrons still got plenty of power <laughs> all right let's go break in this uh cheater tire it's really, it's pretty loose and dry. We haven't been getting a, a lot of rain. Yo, the front is is uh is soft. I I kind of like it actually, but we'll see how it is when we start hitting some really serious stuff. 
Okay. Let's yeah. Let's try these out. Test the brakes out. Brakes work good. Let's let's do a little, some little cone work here. Stand. That's some standing up right there. Let's do some leg out. Good grip. I'm able to slide the back around with the uh, regen throttle. All right, let's try these poppers here. No problem. Get some air. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go do some mini motocross. We'll take it easy. So the suspension is pretty soft. So I don't know if it's. I don't know. We'll see if it bottoms out. <laughs> Yeah, make sure we don't run these little guys over. Oh, well, there you go. Just don't... Man, that's <laughs> like three of them. Alright, that's fine. Let's take it easy. Alright, first jump. Yeah, it's like marshmallow. See if I can pass them somewhere. <laughs> and it's kind of narrow to pass here. <laughs> Probably like right here we can pass it. <laughs> Just let him go. Let him go. Let's see if I can. Oh, okay, I'll pass them right here. Yeah, I like it. The rear track's really good too. Yeah, the back feels tall too. Wow, it just soaks it up like marshmallows. I like it. I don't think I have to do any adjustments. Stop turn there. All right, we're getting some decent air. Easy to control, not too much power. I, I dialed in not a lot of power. All right. Not bad. Okay, that was a good little test round on the uh, motocross course. Now we're gonna go down trail one. So Hayes Mega has like the full battery to test today. That's it. Once the battery is done, we go back home. <laughs> Type of thing, alright. Hayes Mega, I got all day to spend here. But actually, yeah, let's do trail one. I'll come back to the car and then we'll check the bike out, see if anything got loose. Like I said, this is also a shakedown run. I'm already I'm already pretty impressed. I'm already pretty impressed with the suspension. It feels totally different than it did before. It like actually absorbs, you know, <laughs> and that's what I was going for. Okay, we might. If I'm feeling confident, we can. Oh, oh, dude, never mind. The motocross track is closed. Well, yeah. If I'm feeling confident, I might go on the motocross track later. All right, here we go. This is trail one. Very good. I was worried of the rear being too stiff, but it's just right. No, no, actually it is stiff. The, 
the foot pegs are kind of, my feet are kind of bouncing up and down on the foot pegs on the bumps. But this kind of smooth stuff, it handles it just fine. Ooh, nice, it's so plush. The, the fork just absorbed that like easily. All right, here's some pretty bumpy section. Yeah! It's like marshmallow, dude. It's like marshmallow. I like it. Right, I'm gonna take a quick picture here. It's like marshmallow. I like it. It, dude, it feels totally different than the RST fork. It's. I don't know how to the, uh, the, describe it. It feels more like a dirt bike. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Okay. All right. Here so we yeah. go. Okay. So far, we haven't had too many problems. We're most of the way through trail one. Uh, let's see if we can just rip it on the way back. No promises. But yeah, my arms aren't getting all beat up. But this is the stuff that the RST fork was good at, man. The, the smooth stuff. Yeah, I feel that's okay. Um, I, don't, I haven't felt it bottom out yet, so... I'm going to keep it soft until I feel it bottoming out, then we can go up on the compression. Well, I think we're good. I, this, I still feel that the rear is too, too stiff. Wow! Yeah! Man! I like it. This is nice. Alright, okay, we're going to go back to the car, and then we're going to go, uh... We're going to go, um... We're gonna go uh, check everything out, all right? Make sure nothing got loose. All right, that was trail one. It handled it pretty good. Okay, Hayes Mega feels that the rear is kind of too stiff. So I'm gonna go down on the compression like two clicks. Oh, I think that's, I think we're already at the bottom too. Yeah, we're like at the bottom already. Oh, never mind. there we go, okay. Yeah, I think a six is total. So yeah, well, let's go. Let's just go full, full soft. <laughs> it depends on like the valving, you know. Yeah, it's too. St it's really stiff. I think this shot. I think this spring is too stiff. That's what I want to say. All right. Let me see.